Welcome to another edition of What the Fata. Um, this is where we try to speak the truth unblemished and without any uh, political correctness. Um, recently, there was a conference in uh, New Delhi, Raisana gathering or Raisana dialogues, uh, brought on about by the ORF Foundation, and something quite interesting happened over there. The Russian Foreign Minister. Um, unprompted by anyone else, came up with a very strong case saying that India uh, should become a member of the UN Security Council. That demand has been there since 1947 onwards, even when the United Nations Security Council was formed. Uh, India could not have been there because the UN Security Council was created prior to India gaining independence. And hence, even though China at that time was merely the island of uh, Formosa or Taiwan, it represented, um, a tiny island was represented on the UN Security Council, but a great country, large country like uh, you know, uh, India was not. Uh, over the years, uh, countries uh, of the West and were counterbalanced by uh, in the Cold War by the USSR, which subsequently became Russia, they became guardians of peace on earth or one would say guardians of war on earth. And so you had France, Britain, United States, uh, UK and uh, the Soviet Union and China uh, as members of the Security Council. Now, if you, like me, have been uh, a keen observer of the map of this world, there's an entire segment of the world's population that's unrepresented. And what it means is that colonialism, the way Spain, Portugal, France, England, above all, and Germany, and to a certain degree even Italy, captured the rest of the world and ruled it. And uh, when they had to leave, uh, they quickly formed the United Nations Security Council, which means that no law um, under certain sections uh, can pass uh, uh, as an international law because the members of the UN Security Council have a veto. And for a very long time, Kashmir, uh, India, sorry, was a beneficiary of the veto system because the United States, King, uh, United Kingdom would support Pakistan's claim on Kashmir and the UN Security Council resolutions would be vetoed um, uh, because the USSR was allied to India. However, Russia is gone. Who represents the people who were colonized in the 19th and 20th century? Right at the top at the United Nations. I know there's a U United Nations Human Rights Council, which is, just, which is a joke because most of the countries on UN Human Rights Council are not, do not practice human rights. Most of the Islamic countries are represented there. They are a block of about 52 nations who have the worst record on human rights, but yet they are sitting there. Even India has very little influence over there because these 52 countries vote as a block and many a times India's position is simply pushed aside. Now, for Russia to come up now at this stage and bring up the issue that India should be a member of the Security Council is because India in the developing world is the only functioning democracy. It has a billion people. Its influence lies right across the world. And let me, let, let me shed some light on that. You start in the east and you, you have a country called Indonesia. Guess where it gets its name from? Indonesia, Hint, India. You go to the Indochina area, Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam. Indochina, any idea, any guess? It's India. You go to the east, uh, far west, you've got Indiana. You've got the native Indians. You've got Canada's Indian Act. What part of this world is not influenced by Hindustan? You got all these Stan countries, you know, Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan and Pakistan and now even 
uh, you know, well, I don't want to talk about that, but Stan itself is a Sanskrit word. That means a place which extends itself to the land of the Kazakhs or the land of the Turkmens and the land of the Uzbeks. It's a different story that there is no Paks, you know, there's no people known as that. So Pakistan is the only odd member of the Stan, uh, but I'm digressing as usual. But India, whether it's called Bharat, whether it's called Hindustan, is the mother of human civilization. And to not have India sit on the Security Council with a veto, with a veto, why? Because a whole mob of countries that are dictatorships are today stifling the human rights of its citizens. And since the United States or United Kingdom do not bother about what happens in these countries and are only concerned about the resources that these countries can offer, whether it's oil from one place or coffee from West Africa or, you know, jute from Bangladesh or cotton from elsewhere or sugarcane or palm oil. Now look at the dispute between Malaysia and Indonesia uh, and sorry, Malaysia. Do you think Malaysia has any ground to stand on to bully around a country like um, uh, Hindustan? No, but if disputes get to the international level and India is not there, I would suggest that there is room for more like Brazil or South Africa, so that Latin America that has absolute no representation anywhere, or Africa, the entire continent is without representation. So it's not just India, but if not India, there is no other country that could enter the five who rule this world. And thank, uh, one should, Indian should thank the Russian foreign minister for making this suggestion. But if India wants to be on the Security Council, India will have to do better in its relationships with its own people, with its own women, with its own minorities, because to be at that level and to talk of human rights and equality, India should have an unblemished record. So none of these other idiotic countries, little tiny um, dictators, tin pot dictators running all around who could point the finger. Imagine we had a mayor of Brampton lecture India about human rights. But India needs to be respected, but it needs to respect itself first. So its citizens are above all equal to each other. And its heritage is not compromised by twits coming from overseas to lecture us on what we need to do or not. So. With this request, talk to your friends, talk to your members of the Lok, Lok Sabha, talk to your uh, state assemblymen and everyone in your family and say, why is India not in the United Nations Security Council? Is it our fault or is it the fault of others? We can deal with the others, but we need to be ready to take on center stage in the world and say this is Hindustan. This is where civilization grows. This is where chess was invented. This is where zero was found. And this is the land that is protected by the Himalayas. And this is a peninsula that juts out and has its own ocean. No other country has an ocean named after it except India. Know about the Indian Ocean? There is no American Ocean. There is no Chinese Ocean. There is no French Ocean. There is Indian Ocean. So don't sell yourself short. You're a great people, it's a great country, and it has to be the UN Security Council. Thank you for now. Take care. Khuda Hafiz. Jai Shri Ram.